Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Thank you so much for checking into our YouTube channel. So today we have the Explorer Adventure helmet from LS2. This is the premium helmet in their lineup. You got a lot of bells and whistles. You got the optically correct face shield, the drop down sun visor, you got the quick release chin strap and a whole lot of cool features that are built into this. And I think it comes in at a fair price as well. You're gonna be about 320, 330 bucks for this helmet. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about the Explorer. We'll talk about what features you're getting to help you decide if this should be your next helmet. Now, before I jump into that though, we just do wanna talk about fitment real quick. So three shell sizes, which is nice in this helmet, that's just gonna help give the best fit possible depending on your head size. Also, what's nice too, is that the more shell sizes that you have, the smaller the size, say a medium, a small, that's just gonna help reduce the overall size of the helmet. So you're not carrying around some additional size or weight in those smaller sizes. Remember though, we do have our fit guarantee. I've tried this helmet on, very comfortable for me. It fit true to size. We do have our fit guarantee. So if you get this, you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on that first exchange to make sure you do get the size and the fit that you are happy with. I also do wanna point out, little note on Fitment 2 is that glasses compatibility, they did design this to work with glasses. And what's kinda of cool, it will show you when we open up and get to the inside that the cheek pads are actually, they left out some of the padding in the cheek pad area, right where the frame of your glasses would go to give a good fit with that. So that is one thing I hear about this, that riders do like how well glasses do fit with it. All right, so I'll give you a little 360 view here. Uh, pretty aggressive look to this helmet. It's got a lot of spoilers here on the back. You can see a lot of fins. You're gonna be DOT and ECE compliant. But what I do like though, that with this helmet is that with the venting, there's a lot of vents on here, but what's cool is that all the vents you can actuate. So you can open and close all the vents on this helmet to can really control the climate as you're riding. So to start out here with the mouth guard, you got this vent right here in the front. So this one, you are going to be, be able to open and close. And then as you work your way up, so just underneath the actual visor, you can see that you've got these vents here. Those also easy to find with the gloved hand. So very easy to open and close. So you've got those vents there. But then on the side here, so these just kind of look like fins, but that is actually, let me do it with my hand here, a vent that you can open and close. And then when we get to the back, this is kind of interesting. So you've got multiple spoilers on here. You've got these here across the top and these also will open and close. So again, they're just really allowing you to control the airflow as much as possible with this helmet. But what's kind of cool is that with these kind of spoilers you have on the back here, the idea behind this is not just for looks, but what they do is they say that when you have that high speed air that's coming over the top of the helmet, you, it creates a negative pressure here underneath these spoilers. And the reason for that is that anywhere that there's a negative pressure, it wants to pull air, it wants to fill itself. And so by having that negative pressure underneath these spoilers, it's gonna help extract that air out of the helmet. So they're just helping get air in, and then with those spoilers, they're helping to get the air out. So that is the actual purpose of these pretty you know, aggressive looking spoilers that you have all over the back of the helmet. Also, as far as the drop down sun visor, that is actuated right here on the left side. So right here, I can just grab it with my hand. Easy to find, very easy to use. You have a stainless steel cable inside there that is, that is moving all of that. So easy to find, easy to actuate that. And also something else that I did notice that I kind of like is that when you drop that sun visor down, so I've worn some other helmets before that have a drop down sun visor, but sometimes I just don't feel like they come down quite far enough. And I wish they would drop down a little bit more. With this one, you can see it comes down far enough that it almost goes to the actual nose guard. Well, it does in fact. So I just like that it's gonna come all the way down and you're not gonna feel like you're looking through that sun visor, but you can still see a lot of light out the bottom of it. So that is one thing that I noticed. However, there is one drawback, is that with that actuator being here on the side is for a Bluetooth comms unit. If you have a Bluetooth communicator, you're gonna put it here on the left side of the helmet. And so that could interfere with that depending on what setup you have. If you're doing just an adhesive backed mount right here on the side of the helmet, you're probably gonna be just fine. But if you're doing like the clamshell style, it might interfere with that. So that is one thing that I would point out. Now, as far as the actual visor goes, so lots of cutouts on this thing to help this thing flow and just get as much air going through there as possible to help reduce buffeting. So try not to catch air on that thing when you are going at those higher speeds. But the shield or excuse me, the visor is removable. So you have these plates right here. You can pop those off. You can take the visor off. If you're going to be doing some more street riding or maybe a longer stretch on an adventure or touring ride where you just don't feel like you're going to need that visor on there, 
you can pop that off and they have shields or plates that you can put right here so you just don't have those holes exposed. So they do give the option to do that. Now, like I said earlier though, that the, the visor, excuse me, the shield is going to be optically correct. Now, also what's kind of cool is that right down here, so when I close the shield, you'll actually hear it snap and lock into place. And to start to open that, you actually have this button right here. I'm gonna press that down and that will allow me to open up that shield. Now, one thing I do want to point out is you have a detent at the top to keep it open, but as you go down to the bottom, just one thing I noticed, there's no detents from the bottom all the way to the top. It's just a fluid motion. Some riders might not mind that. I just know from us, from our experience, we like it to where when you can just barely crack that shield to get a little bit of airflow going in if maybe your shield is fogging up. But with this one, if you're just to barely crack it, I feel like it's gonna wanna raise up when you get some air underneath there. So, but overall, what's nice is that when you do lower that, it'll actually, you can see, snap and lock into place. I also did notice too, that this gasket going around here on the outside is a nice soft rubber gasket, which is gonna give a good tight seal when you have that shield down. So, give a little view here when I do drop that sun visor with the shield up, so you can see, comes all the way down, which I do like. Also, what's kind of nice too, again, another bang for your buck, is the shield comes pin lock ready, and you will get your pin lock inside the box. So if you're not familiar with the pin lock system, it's an anti-fogging system, and it's one of the best that is out there. And the way it works is you take that pin lock shield, and you notice that you have these pins here on your actual visor, your shield, and you actually install that pin lock system and it's like a dual pane window where you're separating the warm air from the cold air to help reduce fog. And so that's a really nice premium feature that you are getting with this. So that's the outside of the helmet. Now, let's take a look at the inside here. So another thing you're gonna notice that I like too, just to help reduce wind noise as much as possible, you can see the neck roll on this helmet is gonna go down, give a good tight seal around the bottom of the rider's head. You also do have a windskirt on here. This windskirt's got pretty good length to it, so in colder conditions, you can, you can have that windskirt on there to help keep air out of the helmet. But again, I also think it's just gonna help reduce the overall noise. Now with the chin strap, so it's a quick release, quick release chin strap, and it's kinda unique here. So you have this little piece right here that is magnetic. And this, I'm gonna be honest, kind of took me a second to figure out because it's easy actually to do when you have the helmet on. But the way this works is you would take this chin strap or this little magnet right here, you pull down on that, so down and away, and then that allows me to pull the ratchet out. So it's just gonna make it easier to pull out, which is kind of nice, it's gonna be easy to operate. So if you have your gloves on, you're not sitting there trying to get your strap through D-rings, this is gonna be a little bit easier to do that. As far as the comfort liner goes, it's a premium material, it's super soft, very comfortable. Moisture wicking, you can take that thing out. They do not recommend putting that thing in the washing machine, hand wash it, and then let it air dry, you're gonna be fine. And I do wanna point out real quick before I pull that comfort liner out, so I had mentioned earlier how this is compatible with glasses, and this is what I'm talking about. So on the cheek pads right here, as you work your way up and you get towards the top, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but you go from having all this cheek pad material, then right here where my finger is, right where the frame your glasses would go through, this you can see I can press in on that. So they just took out the padding in that one location where you know, from a comfort standpoint, you're not gonna notice it, but that's just gonna allow the frame of your glasses to push out more, so it's not pressing in against the rider's head. So that's what makes it so, or fit so well with glasses. So now, I'm gonna pop this comfort liner out and we're gonna show you the inside of the helmet. All right, so I got my cheek pads and the comfort liner out. So one thing I do wanna point out too on the cheek pads is that they do have these tabs right here. So those are just emergency tabs. So in the event that someone goes down, you wanna get the helmet or the cheek pads out before you try and take the helmet off. So this just gives you an easy location to grab onto those cheek pads to get them out of the helmet. But again, there's your comfort liner. It's got a really nice soft feel to it. Again, moisture wicking, you can hand wash that thing. But when you look at the inside here, you've got your EPS liner. Now, as I was mentioning, with all those vents that you can open and close, you can see inside there that you do have some channels that are cut into that EPS, and those are directly correlating with the vents that you do have on the helmet. So EPS, again, expanded polystyrene, that is the standard in all motorcycle helmets for the most part when it comes to just absorbing impact, does an incredible job of that, and that's why we see it in motorcycle helmets. And that's it. That is the LS2 Adventure, or excuse me, Explorer Adventure Helmet. If you do have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answers, so make sure leave those in the comment section below. Now, they also do have the Blaze helmet. So the Blaze helmet is gonna come in below this one as far as price point. 
Similar features, you got the drop down sun visor, multiple shell sizes. However, if you're looking at the two and really trying to figure out like what are the main differences, the Explorer is going to have more venting inside of it and then you're gonna get a different comfort liner, more premium with the Explorer, but you're still getting the quick release chin strap and other things like that with the Blaze. So if you're not quite sure, haven't made up your mind, be sure to check out that helmet as well. As always, we ship for free over 75 bucks. If you like this video, do yourself a favor, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and that way you always stay up to date. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.